So Yannick Lugo's Yannick got it lined up. This is pretty much a ball game here, Mike. He approaches and scores. So Yannick Luba gives Fordham University a one nothing advantage after a nice little uh, run to the goal. Yep, that was a really nice. That was, you know, as we were just saying, as we were saying, like I was saying, actually, <laughs> it, I didn't know if they were going to get any opportunities, and then and and uh, Luba got two, and then about three minutes, yeah. and he got the breakaway, and it was stopped, and then on the second one, Olendorf did a. Gave him a great ball. He sent it watch, in. Watch the goalkeeper who guesses yeah. the wrong way, and Lu Luba just knocks it yeah. where he just left. So one nothing, Fordham University with under eight minutes to go here in this regulation. We're here with senior Ryan Capole, the Fordham men's soccer team, following their one nothing win in the 8-10 quarterfinals against UMass on Thursday afternoon. Ryan, an extremely physical battle, a team you just played five days ago, so you were very familiar with this team. You guys come away with the one nothing victory. How do you put in perspective today compared to uh, the game five days ago? Yeah, I mean, five days ago when we played them, we really didn't think we had played our best soccer. And we were really disappointed with the performance that we put on the field. But the rare opportunity in sports you get to play a team that you just played and just lost to. And we said to ourselves, it's the perfect draw, it's the perfect matchup we can get. We were excited to play them, came out fired up. And every game in the A-10 tournament is going to be a battle, and we know that from last year. So... Just came out prepared to battle. Everyone had a great performance. Just a great team effort, and we got the win, which is awesome. You guys get that second half goal on the penalty kick by Yannick, but chances were few and far between as, as a defensive midfielder, defender yourself. Talk about the physicality of today's game. Yeah, I mean, I think once every team gets into the A-10 tournament, it becomes a little bit of a different game. It's kind of a desperation that you feel on both sides of the ball. You want to score, but you also have to defend your goal to 100%, 110% all the time. So I think once you get in the A-10 tournament, you got to expect the physicality is going to be elevated. And we came out knowing that, especially, like I said, from last year, we have our same back line for the most part. And Lars is an older, experienced guy. we just putting our heads together and being able to get behind the ball. We worked really hard to do so, so I'm really proud of the guys. So. You move on to tomorrow's semifinal against the VCU Rams. They put up four goals earlier today against George Washington. What do you? And, uh, that's a rematch from last year's quarterfinal where you guys were able to top them. So again, a, a very high emotional game from rematch from last year. What do you expect tomorrow? Yeah, I know. We know that they're going to come out fired up. Just semifinal, eight ten tournament game. We know it's going to be a battle. But uh, for us, it's kind of focusing on ourselves. We have a game. Like you said, 24 hours from now almost. So we got to recover, focus, refocus, focus on ourselves and getting as healthy as we can possibly be so we can get the best result. Well, congratulations on the win, Ryan, and uh, enjoy with your team. Thank you so much. Here with sophomore forward Yannick Luba, the Fordham men's soccer team, following their one nothing win over UMass in the 8-10 quarterfinals on Thursday. Yannick, it was an extremely physical matchup today against the team. You didn't play in the last game against UMass in the regular season finale, but you come back today, you get the only goal of the game. Can, can you tell the difference between that game and that regular season finale and the game you guys played today against them? Yeah, I think, first of all, we had some players coming back, especially Lars at the back. Then I won, I was back, Rashid was back. So it was pretty good for us, and we had a completely different attitude. Like we knew that we, when we would lose this game, we were out, and our season would be over. So everyone was fighting for it, and had a great attitude right from the start of the game. So I think that was the point. It was good for yourself as well as Janos up top. Very physical uh, to play against UMass again. As much as you're watching the play in front of you, you got to watch the play behind you coming. Is that something you got to kind of have your head on a swivel? to make sure you see what's coming at you, not only for what's in front of you coming at you, but what also might come from behind? Yeah, of course, but we also, like, especially our teammates, uh, talk to us a lot, so we always knew that some, when something is behind, that something was coming, so we, was, we were always aware of that, so when there was a guy coming, we could always pass it to another one and get rid of it, so it was fine. I think we had a pretty good game, just at the final third. We sometimes didn't force the keeper to do the saves, but we're happy to win this game. You guys move on to tomorrow's A-10 semifinal against VCU in a four versus eight matchup. VCU upsetting GW earlier today. It's a rematch from last year's A-10 quarterfinal. Probably be a very highly emotional game between you teams. What are you expecting uh, out of VCU and, and out of yourselves 24 hours from now? I think it will be really competitive again and really physical like last year. Both teams defended really well last season. 
when we played against each other and I didn't see the game before but I guess they did pretty well when they won 4 nothing against the number first uh, number one seeded team so we will be aware of that but we know we have quality and if we are competitive it's hard to beat us. Well congratulations on the win today Yannick enjoy with your team.